Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. How are you this afternoon? We are still locked up here for three more weeks in um, Scotland, not in England so much. They're actually able to get out to golf now, which is wonderful. And uh, so we're stuck in for three more weeks. They might open up the golf courses next week, but there's so many, hi there Petra, there's so many restrictions. Um, I don't know, it's, I don't know whether it's gonna be that pleasant to play, but I guess we'll get a chance to hit a ball down the fairway. Hi Debbie and Maureen, how are you Maureen? Hope you're well. And Dana Lee, hi, and Chris. Hi girls, oh gosh, you're all coming on. Ah, oh, nice to see you. And Jody. Uh -huh. hi Leah. Um, I thought I'd come on today and make a couple of really nice summery dressings that you can keep in your fridge for probably the best part of a month. I'm going to show you how to make a chili and lime dressing, which I love to put on if I've uh, roasted a couple of chicken breasts and done some salad, almost like a chicken Caesar, and I use this as my dressing. I wanted to show you as well how to make a, a Caesar dressing, but I couldn't find any anchovies today. Hi, Susan and Cindy. Hey, Kathy, how are you? Good news on New Orleans. That sounds like fun. And Debbie, hi. Hi Susan and Geraldine. Hey Deborah, I hope your auntie comes on from Whitby, Ontario. You said that she might come on. Hi Kathleen and Susan. Great morning in Massachusetts. Well, it's up and down here. It's a little cool one minute and then it's warm the next. So I'm hoping to get a little cocktail out in the garden if possible. Hi Donna, how are ya? <laughs> Good to see you Kathy as well. And Debbie. This is Ken. See, yeah, there. There, I can see you now better. Maybe I didn't put my contact lens in. I'm trying to remember. I better not stick my finger in my eye just at the moment. Hi, Clara. Hi, and Cheryl. Cheryl, did you get your knife sorted out? Um, that was the best I could show you was the box that it was in. I could almost send it to you, but I don't know about sending a knife through the mail. Hey, Laura. Hey, Jeanette, how are you? How are you doing? Good to see you. I always love seeing you coming on. Should have been there with you right now for that school reunion we were supposed to be having. But uh, hi, Debbie, Deborah. I'm just looking for your auntie to see if she comes on from Whitby, Ontario. Hey, Fiona, how are you? Yeah, so today we're going to make two dresses. We're not making cider today, Fiona. <laughs> we're making dressings. And I thought I'd just make two easy dressings that you can keep in the fridge. Trish, how are you? You guessed right. Guess what I made? Did somebody see the picture with all the limes in the, uh, in the bowl? And I put a picture, guess what this is? And Trish Phillipson, you guessed correctly. And I just actually bottled a couple of the jars. I've got four jars of it. It's lime pickle that I made. This is an Indian condiment. And I have been desperate to make this for years. And I have just tried this. We'll see what it's like. Uh, I've got to leave it standing for like about a week now. So we'll see how it tastes and uh, hopefully it'll be okay. Hopefully it'll be just like the real McCoy that you buy uh, from the supermarket. I, in fact, I hope that it's going to be a hundred times better. Hey, Laurie. So Trish, you were right. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Clara, she's just saying if you mail a knife through the through the mail, you better bake it, put it in a cake. I think so. I think you're right. Hey Janice, hi. Nice to see you. So that's what I was making with all those limes I was showing you on Mary's Kitchen. Um, lime pickle. It still has to sit. It's got to pickle up a little bit. There's some vinegar, a little brown sugar, some mustard seeds, some garlic, chili, uh, cumin, coriander, all sorts of like good things. But let's wait. Proof is in the tasting, right? And so I can't taste it just at the moment. So that's what I was making. Hi, Pamela Broadhead. How are you? You're going to watch this later. Okay, that's fine. Um, anyway, let's get started. Uh, I've got one cup. This is the chili and lime one that I make. And I make it with all fresh ingredients, okay? I don't like to make things with powder. I think you get a totally different taste. Hi, Denise and Linda. Tracy, how are you? And uh, so anyway, we'll start 
Uh, first of all, I'm just going to move this over slightly because I want to bring my little mixer over here. So you've seen my ingredients. I've got a cup of yogurt here. I'm going to put a slice of red onion. I'm going to put two cloves of garlic in this one. I'm going to put one red chili. I'm going to put uh, one of these parsleys in. And I'm going to put some cilantro, some coriander, and some salt and pepper. I'm going to grate the rind off half of this lime. And I'm going to take the juice of half the lime. And if you really want to juice your lime up, just roll it like this on your kitchen counter. Okay, and then you can feel the juice in there coming out. Hi, Judith. And Holly, hi. I like to say hi to all you girls coming on. It's so nice of you. Hey, Manon, how's everything in Canada? The weather warming up? Any more snow? I think you sent some of the cold weather over here because it certainly was getting cold here as well. So that's my lime is ready to go. And this my friend Lorna, she might be happy to see this if she comes on because she just bought one of these. Uh, well, I bought it for her actually. Um, it's a little mixer and chopper and it reverses. It goes one way or it goes the other way, which is super because it really, really cuts things up fine. Hey Martha, hi. And Carmen, good morning. Oh, this is a really, really nice fresh dressing. I love it. I love to have it in the fridge especially in the summertime, spring, summertime, and it's really nice and it's good for you. So let's get started on the first one, okay? Because I know everybody likes to, you know, it's easy to go to the shops and buy dressing, but they've got so much preservatives in it, they've got so much sugars in them, and, and things that you don't want really, that you need to put in your body. You want to put good things in your body, and this can't get any simpler. I might natter a lot here, but it only takes minutes to make this. Hi, Clara. You're Spain. Lovely. I hope you weren't in Barcelona at that big huge street party. They all went crazy when they got out of lockdown. Okay, one cup of yogurt in here, kids. There we go. One cup of yogurt. And then I'm going to put uh, two cloves of garlic. I'm going to put one red chili. This is how simple this is. I'm going to put uh, a big thick slice of onion, about that, it's about a quarter of a cup by the time it gets minced up. And then I'm going to put one of these parsleys in, not both of them, i got quite a bit there. And I'm going to take a handful of cilantro and put that in. And I'm going to put the rind of the lime in here, because I like that. I like the flavor of that. It just gives it some real nice freshness. So. And I think lime, as I said to you before, lime and uh, cilantro goes so well together. Yeah, so just put that lime in there. And then I'm going to get the juice out of it. Kathy, if you're watching, I'm going to be using your juicer you gave me. Here's my little juicer. And just get as much lime juice. If I don't think there's enough lime juice in it when I'm finished mixing it up all in here, then I usually just add another one, another half. There's a, because you don't get much out of limes, really. There. So we're just going to quickly put the lid on this. And just chop that all up together. Okay, simple. This little machine, tiny mic. You can buy it in Aldi. It goes faster the other way. See how everything is getting cut up? You can see everything cut up in there. I'll just let that rest for a moment. Just let that run down the sides a wee bit. And it's that simple. This I got out of Aldi. It's only just like about 15 pounds, like about $20. So it's just like nothing. Let me just taste this. Perfect. It needs a little salt. Put in. And it needs a little pepper. And I'll give it one more whiz up. And then basically that is your chili and lime dressing. As easy as one, two, three. And I like it because it's so really nice and fresh to put on your salads. 
Lovely. Oh, lovely, lovely bit of heat coming through there too, so it's gorgeous on chicken. And you could serve it on the side with some fish if you wanted as well. Um, but it's a great little sort of barbecue dressing to have. All right, so that's, I'm gonna put that aside here. All right, for later, and I wanna bring my other things in here. Now, the other piece of equipment I'm gonna use for this dressing is my Nutribullet. Hang on, yeah, there, and I'll tell you why. Because this really emulsifies things really great together. And this, what I'm gonna show you, it's so simple. It couldn't be simpler. Hi, Julie and Tammy. Oh, yes. Well, Cheryl, that's a good idea. Cheryl's just saying there, she puts her limes in the microwave for a few seconds and they come out very juicy. Excellent. Great idea. I've heard that before, actually. It's not something I've ever done, but uh, I think it's a wonderful idea. Absolutely. Hey, Evie. How are you? Oh, so you put your limes in the, <laughs> in the microwave as well. Yeah, it's salad season, so I think that that's the time to make some dressing. So I wanted to show you how to make a very basic vinaigrette. So that's our chili and lime one done. It's all using fresh ingredients. So you have one cup of yogurt, two garlic cloves, one red chili, a good slice of red onion, like about a quarter cup, a good handful of cilantro, and tablespoon of parsley and uh, you can put the lemon uh, lime rind in there and half the lime juice and I've got half a lime here that I'll be using at some other stage. So basically for a very very simple, I'm just going to move that over a bit, uh, basic vinaigrette. We're going to be using oil and vinegar. So I have a, an array of vinegars here. I mean I have everything here. I'm balsamic. I've got apple cider here. I've got uh, Scottish rapeseed oil. I've got uh, red wine vinegar. And I've got white wine vinegar. Uh, now, I was going to make this into, because I'm making a basic, basic um, uh, dressing here, I'm going to use the olive oil and I'm going to use white wine vinegar. All right, and then I'm going to add some little things to it after that, just to show you where you can go from there. Now, this thing, uh, I need this. I need my little, my little doohickey here. Happy Wilson's little measuring spoon, measuring cup. So this basic vinaigrette, you could use an apple cider vinegar, which would actually be quite nice. I think I might use the apple cider vinegar fridge for a while and be using it for my summer salads. So basically it is three parts oil, one part vinegar, okay? And then after that it gets interesting. Hi Kala, how are you? Hope your Tupperware is going well. Hi Anne and Sheila and Mary Lynn. Yeah, this is really, really simple. It's great to have on hand. It's also, you could use it as a marinade. It's a basic vinaigrette. That's exactly what it is, um, a basic vinaigrette. But we're going to make it a little more exciting, which I'm going to show you how to do. So I'm going to be using my Nutribullet for this, so it really emulsifies together, gets them all mixed up. And I'm going to, my measuring, so when I say three parts and one part, that doesn't mean three, so many this or so many that. It's just you use the same vessel. Okay, so whatever vessel you're using, if you're using a measuring spoon, I would use one for the vinegar, and then I would use it three times for the oil. Okay, so it's three parts, one part. It's very, very simple, so you don't have to worry about ounces, you don't have to worry about anything else. So I'm going to do my vinegar first, and I'm going to use this lovely Bragg's apple cider vinegar. And I'm going to do a quarter of a cup. It's a quarter of a cup, so I'm going to need three quarters of a cup of uh, oil. And I'll use my little Tupperware, Cala, look, my old-fashioned Tupperware things here. Uh, where's my quarter, my three quarters of a cup one? 
Ooh, must have taken a walk because I know that three quarters of a cup one has a dent in it because I got it too close to the stove one day. <laughs> yeah, you don't want to be doing that. Plastic in the stove doesn't, doesn't go together. So I'm going to do three of these because I know that that's a quarter and a quarter again. So basically we're going to end up with a cup of dressing here. There we go. There. Yeah, I was going to make some lovely Caesar dressing for you today, but I couldn't find the anchovies, so that was a bit of a rip. Um, yeah, they just didn't have them. So I'm going to, I'm going to add a little uh, sea salt to that. And I'm going to add a little pepper. And we're going to put the little grill on there. Just move some of this stuff away. I'll bring my neutral bullet over again so you can see it fine. And make sure your lid's on this because you don't want it splattering it out everywhere. So you'll see see how you know you can see the oil and the vinegar they separate. So what we're wanting to do is we're wanting to get them completely combined together. how fast okay so that's your basic vinaigrette now let me taste this first oh yeah so it's nice it's plain it's simple okay but we want to make it maybe a bit more exciting lovely perfect to put on any salad and it's that simple to make but what I want to do is I want to uh, spice it up a wee bit. So I've got some mustards. So I'm going to make this into a honey mustard. Now, if you're on a keto diet, you probably won't want to put honey. Uh, so instead of that, you can maybe use a little balsamic glaze or some other sweetener that you prefer. But I'm going to use a little bit of mustard. I've got a lot of little spoons over here. I'm going to put about two teaspoons of Dijon in there. And I'm going to turn this in to a honey mustard dressing, which I really like. Now, you can use Dijon or you can use a whole grain mustard as well. So basically, for your basic vinaigrette, you can use a host of oils. You can use your avocado oils. You could use, as I showed you there, uh, oils, um, olive oil. Whatever oil is your preference, whatever oil you like. And I'm going to put a little bit of honey in here. Just about a tablespoon of honey. I never measure these kind of things. But the, when you're measuring the oil and vinegar, be exact. Okay? Do be exact. Some things you need to be exact. Like when you're cooking cakes, it's a bit of a science. And if you don't do it exact, you run into a problem. And we can just taste this afterwards. And put a few mixed herbs in here. All right, so if you didn't want honey and mustard in there, you could just put some mixed herbs in there. You could put some chili flakes in there, just to whatever your taste is, whatever you like for your taste. Just a few little, and maybe a little bit more salt and pepper. There. I'll tell you what I'm gonna do too. I'm gonna add a little bit of onion to this. Yes, I'm going to add a little bit of onion and that thickens it up. Just a small slice like that. There we go. We do things on the hop in this kitchen. <laughs> we just add things. Let me just wipe this. I don't want my kitchen counters to be dirty when I'm cooking. You have to keep your surfaces clean so you know what you're doing. And now I'll bring this back. You need to pull it there. And I'll just give this another twirl, twirl around. That's that. Let's taste that. Let's see if I like it. <laughs> now I can't get the lid off it. Oh gosh, I can't get the lid off. Hmm. <laughs> I can really can't move it. I must have tightened it on too tight. I need assistance with that one. 
Then what we're going to do is I've got a little bottle here, and I'm going to cute little bottle with a little lid. All right, and I'm going to just funnel it into the into the bottle. That was funny. That got really really tight on there. And I'm just going to taste that again. To make a taste of it. Oh, that's lovely. That really is nice. I'm going to pour that in here. So you see, you could double up on this. But I'm going to see how long this lasts me. And plus, I've got it in a nice bottle that I can shake. Just let it drain all in there because you don't want to waste any of the ingredients. There we go. And there's another lovely vinaigrette. So you do your basic vinaigrette recipe, then you could add a variety of mustards to that. You can use whatever type of vinegar you like and whatever type of oil. So basically, it's three parts oil, one part vinegar. You could add uh, some garlic in there if you would like, but I just wanted to make it a nice sort of honey mustard kind of sauce and beautiful. And in the fridge, you can just give it a shake. Put it in a jar. I've got a jar here just to show you. Put it in a simple jar like that. All right, you just keep it in the fridge like that. In fact, I'll put my um, chili dressing in that jar. So that's it, really. That's simple. Hey, Trish, good morning. Uh, you got up early enough to catch me live. Yeah, honey mustard dressing is a great one. I usually get when I'm in Florida, and they give you such a variety. Would you like Italian? Would you like Thousand Island? Would you like French dressing? Would you like this dressing, that dressing? Blah, 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 blah. Which kind of bread would you like? Would you like rye bread? Would you like brown bread? Would you like white bread? <laughs> the list goes on. You get so many choices. So uh, anyway, that's what I'm saying to you there. With that oil, you could turn it into, uh, um, put more mixed herbs and more chili in there. You could put some more garlic, so you can make it a basic vinaigrette with a more garlicky taste. Hey, Jill, you're welcome. Gina and Jenny and Linda. Yes, Linda, it will separate in the fridge. That's why I'm saying you put it in, the, in a bottle, and when you take it out, just like if you have any dressing, like Italian dressing, it all separates, right? Your oil and your uh, vinegar all separates in the bottle, so you always have to shake it. Hi there, Karen and Aileen. How are you, Aileen? This is a lovely dressing for you to make for your little garden parties when you get a chance to have them again. Yeah, honey mustard dressing is one of my favorites too, Cheryl. Oh, thank you, Calla. Well, Calla sells uh, Tupperware. She's one of the girls on here working. Calla, you'll laugh at these because I've had these for over probably, oh gosh, since I was a kid. And uh, so, and I have a lot of Tupperware things that have lasted and lasted that last forever. And I know I always say to the girls, what color are yours? Because usually you can tell the year the Tupperware came out by the, by the uh, color of the item. So, hi Pat, how are you? Thanks for sharing your uh, chicken cashew with me. That looks like a really nice recipe and I'm going to give it a try. And mint julep. Every time I see your name, I feel like I would like a cocktail. <laughs> hi Lisa. <laughs> so, yeah, these are much better than obviously commercial dressings because in commercial dressings, you don't ha know half the things that they put inside there. So you want to, if you make your own dressings and you know exactly what's inside, you don't have to, you, if for acidity, you could add uh, to the oil, uh, uh, raspberry vinegar, terrific, that would be fantastic. Uh, you could um, add some citrus, you could add orange to your oil, it's, it's all acidic, acidity. You could add uh, mandarins to your oil, you could add lemons to your oil, rather than the vinegar, you see, so that would be your one part of acidity and then you've got your oil so you could mix them up and do all sorts of fancy things with them. Hey Shirley, hi and Mitchie, hi, how are you? And Mary Mack, nice to see you and Sandy and I don't know whether Deborah, your auntie came on, uh, Judith from Whitby but if she did I'll say hello to her. You make your own dressings now, Jenny. That's what I like to do, too. So anyway, I hope you girls enjoyed that. We'll see what we'll be cooking in the next few days. 
Uh, thanks for coming on and spending the time with me in my kitchen. And if you're home alone, I'm sorry about that, but I hope a few minutes here with uh, put some uh, some happiness into you. <laughs> and uh, feel like you're sharing a cup of tea or I'm sitting in your kitchen making a recipe for you. So, um, Deborah, I don't know whether, I don't know, she did come on. Okay, I hope she heard me say hello to her. <laughs> Very good. She's from my hood. <laughs> Not really quite from my hood, but she's from Ontario. And I'm from Ontario as well. Hey, Patty, hi. <laughs> Oh, you're welcome. You're very welcome. Listen, girls, I enjoy it. Susan, hi, Susan. Everything back to normal in Florida, I hear. Oh, boy. <laughs> I hope everything stays well. Stay safe. That's the main thing, girls. Stay safe, okay? I'm locked in for three more weeks. Ah, you're busy, Linda. Linda Taylor just saying she's very busy with her Vizsla. Yes, I know all about the Velcro Vizslas, that's for sure. <laughs> So listen, girls, I'll say cheerio. Remember, if you see someone without a smile, give them yours. Love you. Thanks for coming on. Stay home. And, well, sort of be good. Yeah, okay. <laughs> um, enjoy a cocktail. All right. Cheerio now. Bye-bye. See you in a few days.